Hello friends with the T-Words, Cherang speaking. Today with a video about how to compile t 0.7 source code on Linux systems. So if you're on Windows or Mac OS, this won't work and I will cover this probably in future videos. So if you're on Linux, let's go. Um, if you have no clue what compiling is and you still watch this video, a quick uh, explanation. Compiling is transforming human readable source code in the case of T-Words, C and C++ source code into machine readable um, instructions that are then compiled into binary format that is executable by your computer. So what, else, what does that mean and when do you need that? Um, in case you find the modification of TWIS, which is um, public and you have the source code and there's no binary release and you really want to play it, you can't play the source code, so you have to compile it first to play it. If you want to get into the TWIS development, create your own modifications, you hack around in the source code, but if you actually want to launch the application, you have to compile it first. Okay, so before we get started, a quick note, all the steps we are covering in this video <coughs> are all well documented in the webs already, so go to github.com slash tworlds slash tworlds, and there you can scroll down, there's the readme, all these steps are um, explaining the process, even for Windows and so on. Go down here, uh, click on tworlds.com, and then compiling on Linux, plenty of instructions here uh, if you prefer a text form. If you want to watch the video version, let's go. And yeah, another quick note on building t in general. Um, there are two build systems, there's CMake and there's BAM. Both are supported by uh, t -Worlds and the industry standard for C and C++ projects is CMake and t has this own build system created by Metrics, the creator of Tewards, github.com slash metrics slash bam. Um, it's a pretty custom build system, works as fine as CMake. Both of them are supported, so uh, choose whatever you have installed already, you, you prefer um, or feel, um, feel comfortable with. I will cover both of them in this video. Um, we are starting with CMake and I will put in a timestamp somewhere in the description where the bam version starts. Okay, so first step, um, no matter if you want CMake or BAM, you need the dependencies. To install dependencies on Linux, you usually use your terminal. So let's go open a terminal. In my case, I'm on Debian 10, I type in super key, then terminal, and then I have a terminal. Debian and Ubuntu are pretty much a uh, similar operating system, so if you're on Ubuntu, it works pretty much uh, the same. I am not an expert in Fedora and Arch Linux and all the other flavors of Linux that are supported. I hope you know how to open a terminal. Then we want to install some dependencies. Um, in our case, in the Debian and Ubuntu case, we are going to copy the first command into our terminal from installing dependencies from the site uh, github.com slash tworlds slash tworlds installing dependencies we want to copy that command in. If you're on Fedora, copy that into your terminal. If you're on Arch Linux, copy that command. Mac OS not covered in this video. Let's go. Okay, so uh, a quick explanation about this command. Let's make it big. Okay, why, why is it duplicating lines? Okay, so um, first thing, it's uh, using apt, the package manager, um, to install these packages. Um, and you need sudo to run the packet manager, so it says super user do, and then you have to type in your password. If you're running as root already, if you're logged in as root, you don't need the sudo. We are not, so we need that. Okay, so the packets and um, that we are going to install quickly explained. Build essential is uh, C and the C++ compiler. It's pretty essential. And then we have CMake, which is the build system. We have the alternative to use BAM, so if you want to go with BAM, you can remove that from uh, from this list, but we are going to keep it for now. Then we have git, uh, which is um, a version control system and it's uh, very useful. If you want to start development, you will use it a lot. Um, we needed to download the source code. You can download the source code from the website uh, or from GitHub, I mean, uh, github.com slash tworlds slash tworlds, clone or download, download zip. Uh, the thing is that it's using uh, submodules and you want to use some git recursive magic to get those or you don't have languages and maps. Then the next one is libfreetype, libsdl, libpng, libwefpack, 
uh, images and sound for the client. So if you don't want to compile the client, you can remove all of those packages. Python 3, pretty important. Okay, then uh, because it's sudo, we have to quickly type in our password. You don't see your password uh, while typing. Um, then uh, for me, it did nothing zero installed in your case it should ask you do you really want to install it and then you press in y or enter with if the y is uppercase it means it means it's a default um okay just type in y and enter and let's go okay so we have the dependencies installed um in the fedora case you do that and arch you arch linux you do that explained already um let's continue uh, we want to download the repository so copy the first command um out of this box from download repository. This will create a folder with the source code. So let's go to the desktop real quick. Uh, wait, I have this really bad behavior. I have this really ha bad habit to put everything on my desktop. Um, so let's go CD into the desktop and then I will make a directory here. Um, I will call it whatever I want. So I will call it tutorial and then I will cd into the directory. cd for change directory, mkdir for create directory. And now, as you can see, print working directory, we are in this path. This is not fixed at all. You can put the source code wherever you want. Um, yeah, just make sure um, you follow along step by step if you have no clue about Linux and how navigating in the file system work, works. Okay, so we have this folder tool. Um, for tutorial and then we are going to paste this command in here. So this is git clone and then the tworks repository and then this flag recurse submodules. What recurse submodules does is it will search if there are any other repos git repositories inside of it. So um, in this case it's maps and languages um, that are currently submoduled so uh, you have to provide that flag and if you download the zip archive or forget that flag, you don't have the maps and the languages and then we'll, you will run into problems. Okay, so we can type in ls for the listing already and then we can see uh, again, and then we see that we have the tworks folder here. And then we can cd change directory into tworks uh, ls there to see what's the content. This is pretty much the same as, you, as listed here on GitHub um, where it's previewed. Okay. We are going to start compiling with CMake. And for CMake, we have to create our own build folder. How do we create a folder? mkdir, as already um, with the tutorial folder. And then we provide a name, call it build. Then we cd change directory into build. Uh, we can now ls fresh folder, so it's empty. Okay, so then make sure CMake is properly, uh, properly installed and the previous command worked out well. Tap in CMake to see, aha, uh -huh, it worked. It's at usage, blah, 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 it's in your path, everything working fine. Make sure that works. And then uh, if it didn't work, it looks something like that. Command not found, that's bad. Okay, so if it's installed, type in CMake space dot dot for parent folder. Uh, as you remember, in the parent folder was all the stuff. So if we type in CMake dot dot, uh, it will provide dot dot so the parent folder as an argument and CMake list will be sourced. And CMake list provides all the information on how to create a make file. If you type in ls, there's a make file created and that can be used by make. And make will then call the compiler and compile everything for you. Okay, great. So type in make and you're done. Um, but a quick note here make by default uses only one CPU core. Modern systems have usually more cores and they have low single core performance. So if you want to build faster, uh, type in make dash J and then the amount of cores you have. If you don't know how many cores you have, type in mproc and you see a number here. In my case, it's 12. So I type in MK, uh, make dash J 12. Then you will see it's doing a lot of stuff and you can see on the left the progress, all green, all good. Um, that's how it should look like. And in the end, it should look exactly like this, 100%, no error, no nothing. In case you run into errors, um, feel free to pull, um, to ask me, write a comment, whatever. Please don't just say it doesn't work. Please provide an error message, what you tried, what went wrong, so people can help you. Okay, if you type in ls, we see we are done. Alrighty, we have here the 
executable t words t words server dot slash t words to execute it and we see we're in the client it's compiled by us wonderful and the same goes with the server t words underscore server it's running all fine control c to go out of there okay so if that all worked for you fine and you're happy you can close the video now um, you're done if you want to see how it works with the BAM system, if CMake didn't work and you want to try BAM for whatever reason, or if it's a modification that doesn't support CMake, you might want to um, try the BAM version. Okay, so go cd dot dot go one folder up. Uh, make sure to remove the build folder before you continue. RM for remove dash R recursive build and dash R recursive for because it's a folder. Then you delete the whole folder. Then we go cd one up and then we are in our tat um, directory again. We want to compile the BAM build system ourselves. So we go to github.com slash metrics slash BAM. Then we git clone that next to our t source. We don't need any recursive flag because this has no sub modules. It's done, we cd into BAM. We can see there's a lot of stuff and a lot of scripts how to um, compile the, how to build the build system. So this is pretty meta stuff here. And we are going to use make Unix because we are on a Unix flavor. Um, this will say compiling using a GCC. Maybe you see a few warnings, maybe not. And then it's ended, it's, it's fine. No message that it's done, okay? If you get your cursor back, you're done. Type in ls. If you have bam here, that's good. All work fine. Type in dot slash bam to see that it launches error opening BAM Lua, that's fine because this is not a BAM project. If you get command not found, that's bad. Okay, so CD1 back, LS, we have BAM next to our TWORLDS folder. This is what we want. Then we CD into TWORLDS again. Then we type in dot dot for the parent folder slash BAM. Now we are in the BAM folder, double tap to see that we are in there to auto complete. Then we want to execute the BAM binary. Okay, we could just like with make, click in, enter, and uh, it would run fine, even by default with all chords. I want to show you the conf uh, configuration flag. So type in conf equals release to compile in release mode. By default, it would choose debug. Um, that's also fine. Debug is for, uh, it runs a little bit uh, less faster. Release is well optimized, but with debug, you have the symbols and you will get into that if you do development for now. Um, type in the release flag. Same as with CMake, you have the status on the left side. Um, it's progressing there, you shouldn't get any errors and at the end it should say link and done, all fine. Okay, it also created a build folder, so cd into build, then um, ls to see what's in there. As you can see, the binaries are not in there already, so you have to cd into your architecture, in my case it's cd x86-64 uh, um, and then it will create, depending on the type uh, of release, uh, depending on the configuration, it will create a release or a debug folder. So CD into release, in our case, it might be debug in your case. Okay, so ls again, here are our binaries, same as before, that's uh, dot slash tworlds. We are in the tworlds uh, binary and it's, uh, it's, running, it's running fine. Wonderful. Um, okay, so that's, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you understood something, learned something. See you soon.